Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Liberal Ice Cream Parlor features abortion-themed ice cream flavor. Wow, I think I just lost my appetite, especially for ice cream. I've seen all kinds of ways to either support abortion or stand against it, but even I was floored by this one. I have always been against the practice, but I've never heard of anything like this before. It's unique for lack of a better work, and it's certainly shocking in my opinion. Naral Pro-Choice Oregon has now come up with a new abortion-themed flavor of ice cream for pro-abortion Portland, Oregon residents. It's called Rocky Roe v. Wade. I wish I were kidding. It's being served at a series of Naral-sponsored ice cream socials that are intended to show resistance to Supreme Court nominee Brett Kavanaugh. Naral Pro-Choice Oregon tweeted. We've partnered with at once the Scooptics by offering ice cream pints for sale for a limited time only, including a new custom flavor made exclusively for Naral Pro-Choice Oregon, Rocky Roe v. Wade. Order yours now and help defend reproductive freedom. Naral Pro-Choice Oregon has partnered with What's the Scoop, a Portland-area liberal ice cream parlor, to create the custom abortion-flavored ice cream. And the news of this stunt has gone viral. Even if you don't live in liberal-minded Portland. You can get a pint of the ice cream shipped directly to you. Naral Pro Choice Oregon's local leader, Grayson Dempsey, is urging people to place their orders for the politically themed dessert. The only difference being that if you are in Portland, you can have your ice cream served by a so called abortion superstar. You can order your ice cream online between August 13th to 26th. Then you can bike over to What's the Scoop? at 3540 North Williams Avenue and pick up your pints between September 13th to 21st. Abortion supporters and volunteers will be there on September 13th from 5 o'clock to 8 o'clock and would love to meet you and chit-chat with you about abortion and the Supreme Court. It's not what I consider a family gathering place, but that's just me. Imagine making the decision to abort your baby and celebrating by getting abortion-flavored ice cream. SMH. Dempsey got upset when a local Portland political consultant upbraided him for trivializing the issue. When told the event was disgusting. Dempsey responded by accusing the consultant of shaming women and terrorizing a local business. The consultant named Lockwood went on the record with the Daily Wire, Oregon is the abortion mecca of the United States and people need to put the heat on Naral and what's the scoop and shut down these disgusting abortion ice cream parties, Lockwood stated. Oregonians are being forced to fund other people's late-term and gender-based abortions and it needs to end. I find it hard to disagree with his statement. The National Abortion Rights Action League, Naral has always promoted abortion as a fundamental right of women. I am still trying to figure out how they can equate abortion and women's rights with an ice cream flavor. I don't find it witty, I find it disgusting. National Right to Life News observed, at least the ad doesn't have a little girl taking a bite out of, an, ice cream cone. I guess even Naral draws the line somewhere. I'm not alone in my feelings over this. Tyler O'Neill at BJ Media is wondering if this is really defending Roe v. Wade. Nowhere in the Constitution did the founders, or the authors of the amendments, create a right to abortion or same-sex marriage, sick. The very idea of such rights would have been anathema to them. Indeed, Roe v. Wade rooted the right to abortion in the 14th Amendment to the Constitution, and at the very same time the states were passing that amendment, they were tightening, not loosening, their laws against killing unborn babies. Kavanaugh is likely to be confirmed to the Supreme Court, and when he is, he will not be allowed to willy-nilly overturn settled precedent. The court only considers between 60 and 80 cases every year, and the abortion case in question would have to be just right for the court to even consider altering the Roe decision. Furthermore, striking down previous Supreme Court decisions that involved judicial activism is not itself activism, but returning to the basic meaning of the Constitution. Finally, and this may be the most important point, overturning Roe v. Wade would not make abortion illegal, it would allow the states to have their own separate laws on abortion. This would enable each state to pass its own protections on the lives of unborn infants, and it would enable local voters to hold their representatives accountable on a local level, which is much more representative of what the people actually want. That is a very clear, succinct argument in favor of confirming Judge Kavanaugh and I agree with it 100 percent. His confirmation would help end legislating from the bench. What those such as now all seem to fear is representative government. If control over abortion rights is returned to the states, Naral will have to lobby 50 different legislatures to get what they want. That's a lot of ice cream. Not having the Supreme Court to short-circuit democracy will fundamentally alter the relationship between the governors and the governed. And we won't need ice cream to do it. Just a constitutionally conservative Supreme Court justice such as Brett Kavanaugh.
That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.